Hey, uh, as I promised before, if anyone who see my uh, Dishonored Wolf shout out video, I said I was gonna make more or less another video somewhere uh, in a few hours today. And like I promised, I'm, I'm gonna make that video for y'all. Uh, this video is more or less gonna be about this rant. Is this, this is a rant video about this uh, current anime I'm, I saw or I'm looking at? More or less my first impressions from the first episode, mostly of uh, An uh, Angels of Death, which is, is a which is a uh, anime based on a video game, and more or less was suggested to me by an undis un uh, a, a undisclosed person. I would say an undisclosed person more or less suggested this anime. All right, when I first saw the first episode, I already had they already had this really you know enigma, quiet, dark you know, concept and feel to it with, you know, it just being this, you know, survival tournament, you know, S anime, kind of like Future Diary and, and Gantz and, and all that. And then uh, uh, Junie Tyson, uh, and more or less it opens up with this young girl called Rachel, who pretty much only has little recollection of what happened to her. And the only thing that happened is that she woke up in this semi-hospital, semi uh, uh, survival game tournament arena and she more than, and uh, as it opened up I was you know I was more and more kind of dis discombobulated what was going on like at one moment she woke up and she found blood of an animal and, and a bird and, and then some guy with a scythe was coming to kill her because it was a tournament but although it didn't look like he was desperate to kill her it didn't look like he really actually, you know, he was put out of it somewhere in the middle of it. And he had like these bandages strapped up in his scythe and the bandages almost looked like it was his skin because it literally looked like, like it was, it literally looked like he was talking right through it. Like you could see, you know, an actual clear mouth, like the bandages wrapped around his, his face or something. Uh, and then it opens up this crazy doctor who has some factuation with people's eyes because he didn't have any good ones and he wanted to take it was it was a lot of, a lot going on it was still comprehensible although at one point I did feel really discombobulated and the pacing itself was like really long but it still it still kept me uh, around I wasn't completely bored of it uh, completely put out of it like happy time murders like I still you know, stuck around. I still was actually still docile, like right now, to see it. It was still, it was still intriguing enough. I mean, the pacing was a little, was a bit tad longer than than I thought. And you know, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of plot points and a whole lot of things going on at once. But it still worked out all at the end. And pretty much, you know, that was pretty much about it. That's pretty much my first impression about it. Uh, people always have, uh, largely a lot of anime watchers, they always have this, this really policy where it's like, where it's like, you know, uh, you know, it's this first, you know, three to uh, two to three episode policy before you can actually determine how you feel about it, how you're going to stick around with it or some be, or, or my policy here though is like one episode. I think it takes one episode to, for that to, to convey and tell a story that's intriguing enough. I don't have to look at the first three to be suckered into it. One episode pretty much gives me a whole a whole list, a, a whole story of what I'm watching. Uh, just like you shouldn't be watching the uh, the, the the background, just like that. Um, <laughs> and more or less, um, uh. It was pretty good, and but now nah, just summing it up, I'm gonna have to. I'm still gonna continue it, of course. You know I am. I'm gonna stick around for it, and maybe even after I'm finished watching it, when it finally ends, it's like on its 16th continuing episode, if I think right now. Uh, when I finish, you know, looking at, it, I'm gonna come to y'all and uh, you know give a few full review on it or or an analyst if I ever get around to it, of course. And. Uh, <clears throat> And anime in general, because, you know, I promised I was going to get in a full discussion about how I feel about anime right now in general and currently right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was at least around somewhere near the end of the last year or which I kind of had a big fallout with anime. And 
to be honest, after that for a while, I just went back to just looking at a lot of retro anime. You know what I mean? Like, I was looking at Yu Yu Show. I was looking at Saint Seiya. I was looking at Fist of the North Star. I was looking at Cat's Eye. I was just really just sitting back looking at a lot of retro anime because simply that's just, I simply just love looking at retro anime. It's not a whole, I should have been born in this time period. It was better. It's nothing like that. I just simply just enjoy looking at ranchy uh, retro anime. Rather it be terrible lip syncing or actually generally are just some good ones or bad acting or over the topness or shabby animation. It's just, I just love looking at shit. Rather the cringe or because generally it's just good. Like you, Hawker Show. Or Saint Seiya. Those are just generally actually good anime. Uh, but, yeah, more or less, I was really put out of anime for a while. I just, like, really got to the part where I was, like, just bored with it. Hell, actually, in general, I was bored with a whole lot of shit. Like, video games and TV shows and shit. But, in general, I was just really bored with anime, though. Because, you know, that's the main topic of this video that I'm trying to get. Let's try to jump back in. So, anyway, like I was saying... Uh, as I just, as more or less, uh, I was complete, my, 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 my anime tanks, you can say, my anime interest tanks was literally, like, just gone. Like, it was even a drop left. My anime tanks was exhausted. Uh, shit, uh, 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 hmm. Uh, how I feel about modern anime in general... Well, if you want to be frank, most modern anime of right now is wherever, you know, any of the uh, most biggest uh, uh, genres, wherever it be harems or mechas or, you know, you know, or, you know, this uh, shonen and whatnot and, and, and insane and whatnot. I was just put out a whole lot of shit. Uh, the only real recent anime that actually did catch my interest that I actually considered sticking around with in terms of you know, this year or period, it would rather be like, uh, I remember like say like sales at work was pretty interesting. It was uh, more or less an anime take on uh, Osmosis Jones. Uh, and I also kind of liked it, uh, uh, Junji Ito, if, if I'm correct, if I'm pronouncing it right. The little more or less Twilight-esque anime where it had different horror stories and whatnot. And... That, that's really uh, Darling in the, fr in the Franks or Franex or whatever it was it was it was pretty good but at least it was good I actually did enjoy Darling in Franex whatever but like somewhere in the middle of it I was really just put out of it and that's really that's for it for the ones I did like I mean just if anyone actually wanted to know how I feel about just current anime in general like, like outside of, you know, things that actually just can't, would be actually the reasons why I'll be put out of things. Uh, of course, man, I'm not talking to anyone directly. I'm not here to stir any fandoms because I don't want any of this drama here, but I'm going to be blunt with y'all on how I think, how I feel. Let's see, uh, for stars, seven, seven, seven Deadly Sins was, it, you know, it was here and there. Eh, I mean... You know, mm, at least it wasn't, you know, like seven mortal sins. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Uh, okay, anyway, uh, not so y'all won't get focused on, you know, the background. Because, you know, the background is, you know, that that's, that's not made for your eyes. That's, you know, that's a personal problem. Anyway, like I was saying before, though. Uh, yeah, Seven Deadly Sins is a hit or miss. It's not bad. I just not, I'm not, I don't care for it much. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Black Clover. Yeah, Black Clover is, Black Clover is really an odd one. Because you see, I don't really hate Black Clover. I don't despise Black Clover because I know most of y'all do. But Black Clover to me is just a really, really just so formulaic, it's really boring, slow paced, formulaic, generic anime. It just, I don't hate it, it just doesn't do anything for me. And I only think it's bad, it just doesn't do anything for me. I've seen Black Clover animes or Black Clover related esque animes before. It just comes to no surprise to me. 
kind of just like uh, My Hero Academia. It just don't, it doesn't do anything for me. I've seen My Hero Academia before. It's pretty, and personally, for my personal preference, I think, I think in general, My Hero Academia is, is literally like just one of the most overrated anime of this year, to be honest. It's not bad. Don't you don't even jump to that. It's not bad. I just don't care about it. I've seen, I've seen My Hero Academia, anything to that sentence before. It just comes to no surprise to me. Uh, 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 Black Clover. I literally hold. I mean, I literally hold My Hero Academia with the same merit of Black Clover. It's just not. It's, those anime in general just don't do. Just doesn't do it for me. Hell, I'm actually in general just bored with shown with shown in anime in general. I mean, you know, ironically, you know, I still look at you know reruns of Bleach and Yu Yu Hakusho and Saint Seiya, but yet I'm still saying to y'all that I'm bored with Shonen. Well, I am, but uh, man, y'all get y'all y'all already know, man. It's I'm just not into the I'm just already I've already seen. Already seen Shonen before, and I'm just only really just stick to the older ones because those still those still call back to me when I see Hero Academia and Black Clover and Seven Deadly Sins and One Punch Man and and, and JoJo they just don't do anything for me mostly because you know I, I I really don't know about I know about those Shonen of course I've I've seen enough about it to make an uh, to make a uh, 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 opinion. Those animes just doesn't do it for me because I'm A, just overall bored with the shonen genre, and I'm and B, it's just if if you were to say it would be something to get me back into anime, those animes would just not be it because there's just not what I'm looking for. And same thing with Boruto. It just well, to be quite honest, I was never crazy about Naruto in general. Actually, I'll go so far of saying that I. You know, never liked it, Naruto. It's just, you know, the story, the overall storytelling in general is just a little way too pretentious and, and, and you know, full of shit for me. You know, I'm just saying. And in and, and general, because of those little nitpicks, that's what makes it also kind of hard to like Naruto in general. And Naruto as an anime, to me, in general, just never stuck around long enough. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about, that's pretty much how I feel about anime in general and whatnot of this year. Uh, and more or less, uh, I'm going to say this again. Although I actually I'm kind of interested in Angels of Death, I wouldn't actually say that'll be the anime that'll reintroduce me in anime. I'm not, not even in the slightest, but it is pretty interesting. It will it'll, it'll be, I'll, 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 I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It will be amongst the anime that will reintroduce me into anime. If, you know, if y'all catch my draft. But uh, that's pretty much about it. If you have any other questions, just, you know, drop a comment. Uh, just drop a, a, a reply in the comment section. Uh, you know, stick around, like and subscribe, give notifications. And, you know, if you want to kill me, because, you know, of all the shit I just said, you know. And shitting on all the shit y'all like because you know that's just my opinion that's how I think and you know some people just can't handle my opinion then you know you also just you know go down and you know just roast me up man and like always the Adder Storm is watching you and get your ass off the background love y'all